Hi, this is your psychic reading with tarot cards. So I'm going to pick your cards right now, but in my mind, I'm seeing the Seven of Cups. So there's probably a situation where there's a lot of alternatives, a lot of different directions that you can go in, and you need to be a little bit more grounded and decisive. So let me see what that might be about. So take you know, five or so cards for you. Um... One and oh, they're flying all over the place. All right. Um, okay, so firstly, we're dealing with a situation there's, where there's been a lack of balance, basically. There may have been like a separation, either a romantic one or a friendship one, a loss of job, some kind of a loss or setback. Now, this doesn't strike me as something huge and major, just kind of a, you know, a minor inconvenience, we'll say, and the idea is that you want to establish greater balance in a situation because you're really ready for things to change in your life. Now, the other thing is that you may be putting a lot of energy into something and you need to sort of back up a little bit. As I'm working with these cards, this is likely to connect more with things like money, business, work, finance, and your own sense of, of uh, security, basically. So you're definitely ready, but the thing is that you've got to be more grounded again and um, and just to kind of let things go a little bit. But, um, but this card, the Ten of Pentacles, it shows there's a lot of potential and there's about to be some kind of a, I don't know if I'd say an offer, but an invitation or for some of you that you're finding more inform out more information about something. The idea is to do some research. If you're looking to maybe you know, enhance a business or start a business or change jobs or even move or something like that, this card is beckoning you to do some research. But some tarot readers call this the Wall Street card. It relates to the potential for there to be a lot of money, a lot of uh, security, as well as being welcome into a new situation. So there's a lot of help from people around you, especially your peers. So discern like who is with you, who's who you have in your court versus who's more of an adversary. And maybe cut down a little bit with the friend or, or divulging too many too much information for anybody that seems a little bit sketchy. Because with the judgment card reverse, again, need to be more grounded. Don't feel pressured into making any snap decisions right now. The idea is to really take your time with things, assess your playing field, and come up with some strategies. Because if you feel too rushed or pressured, you're likely to make the wrong decision. That's what the Judgment Card Reverse is saying. But it's also a card of awakening. So if you're able to just maybe um, you let go of things for a minute and, and not focus so much on... I need this to happen, or I need more money, or I need this job, or whatever, but rather be grateful for what you do have. You kind of diffuse that want and need energy, and it opens up your fields to attract more, to uh, to be grateful for, basically, to attract more security. So, yeah, working a little bit with, with energy, with law of attraction, and with prayer is really going to help out in this situation. So, again, to um, reiterate this, try to let go. Know that, that spirit, God, source has your back. The one that created you is taking care of you always. Even if there's been temporarily some stress, the world's in a lot of stress. If it's been a temporary pullback, um, if finances have been a little bit slow, or people have been, w whatever the case may be, you're on the right track. You just can't feel pressured. You just have to trust, open your heart, and visualize and feel what you desire is already real and own that. And the fifth card is really great because the, the Three of Wands shows that you really, if you let things go, you really know what you're doing. You really know what you want. You really know what your direction is. And your confidence is contagious. And people pick up on that. And they want to help you. They, they want to assist you in, in, in manifesting whatever your dream is. So this is a card of stability. But the three, threes is about growth and expansion. So just uh, you know, not not feel like you need to rush things right now. To be very clear about your ideas within the next, I'd, I'd say even the next month to six weeks, you're going to get some really good news 
th that's going to allow you to, to feel like you can move forward with a lot of confidence right now. And that's your reading. And, and if you want to do another reading, well, I'll post another one in, in the suggested video below for you. Thank you. I love you.